that this is our equation a plus b equals f plus g so now this will come out to be a plus b equals f while g is equal to 0 and this is our equation 3 while from this we got that equation and over there we will have to mark g equal to 0 so we are left with i k and f minus g so this i k taken common from both so g is equal to 0 then i k and minus a and minus minus will become plus and b and this is equal to minus 2 m alpha over h bar square and a plus b and this is our equation 4. Now if I look at equation 3 and 4 equation 3 and 4 the number of equations are actually 2 and the number of unknowns are the unknowns are 3 because they are a b and f now it's not possible because the number of equation the number of unknowns should be equal to the number of equations and then we will be able to solve this so it means we cannot solve these two equations the clever way is to find the solution b in terms of a because a is the incident amplitude this is the reflected amplitude and f in terms of a so this way we will reduce our number of unknowns to two and from two equations we can find them so let's start with this one to find uh, our result and let me suppose some shortcut here that let's suppose that m alpha this value m alpha over h bar squared let me suppose this is equal to this i considered is equal to and i apply this k here as well so let's suppose that beta that i suppose is equal to m alpha or h bar square k this is the value that i suppose so i can write now my two equations back that f is equal a plus b and the fourth equation i can write that here put this value here and I can write that A for F I can write A plus B so put the equation in this one or let me first simplify this and I will then do the rest so first let me simplify this one this is F minus a plus b and this is equal m alpha over h bar square k so first simplify this i this is minus 1 minus 1 is i square so i square is cancelled with i so i am left only with one i there and then i am left with two and when this k will come here then this will be m alpha over h bar square so i can write this thing is beta because i suppose it like this so 2i beta is here and then i will write a plus b this way i will do the calculation at ease so i am left only with this that this is equal to 2i beta and a plus b now put the value of f here 
So by putting the value of f, I will have a plus b minus a plus b is equal to 2i beta and a plus b. So here I know that a a are cancelling and I will have 2 times b here. So the 2 2 will cancel and I will have b equal to i times beta and a plus b here. Now I can further simplify this one. This will be equal to i beta times a plus i beta times b. So I I can write this. If I move this one on this side, so I can write 1 minus i times beta and b here is equals to i beta and a with it. So from here I can write that b is equal to i times beta divided by 1 minus i times beta and a. So this is the amplitude of the reflected wave in terms of the incident wave. Similarly, I can write, now I can come back to this equation and f is equal, f is equal to a plus b. So put the value of b here and the b value is equal a plus the b value is i beta by 1 minus i beta into a. So I can take a is common. So f is equal to 1 minus this is plus an i beta divide by 1 minus i beta and I can take A is common here. Now I can further simplify this one and this I can write is 1 minus I beta plus I beta divided by 1 minus I beta and A here. So simplifying this one, this is cancelling with this and I am left with F equals 1 over 1 minus i beta and a. So what I found, I found the transmitted amplitude in terms of the incident amplitude and now it is easy from this equation And this equation, I can now find the reflected and transmitted coefficients. So the reflection, the reflection are reflected and transmission, transmission coefficients are the reflected in transmission coefficients are now what does the reflected coefficient and the transmitted coefficient means means the coefficient will tell us the probability that for this much incident amplitude what is the probability that it will be transmitted so the reflected amplitude the reflected coefficient in terms of the reflected amplitude can be written 
in terms of the reflected amplitude can be written is b mod square by a mod square so this will be equal if i square this one and divide by the mod square this one the amplitude square the square of the reflected amplitude and the square of the incident amplitude then this will cancel and i am left with this one so this will be i beta divided by 1 minus i beta and when it is conjugated i beta and 1 plus i beta so this will this will give us r equal to minus minus and again i square minus so plus beta square divided by 1 minus and again minus plus beta square this will give us the reflected or the reflection coefficient in terms of beta so we know that what is beta equal to beta we have supposed m alpha over h bar square similarly the transmission coefficient will be the transmission amplitude square divided by the incident amplitude square so from this equation a a square they will cancel and we are left with 1 over 1 minus ib and then the conjugate of this one 1 plus ib so i can write that the transmission coefficient is equal to 1 and 1 plus beta square now from here from here i can prove that that the very famous relation of that in case of no absorption the reflection coefficient plus transmission coefficient will be equal to one if there will be absorption then this will be reflection coefficient plus absorption coefficient plus transmission coefficient will be equal to one and from here i can clearly see that this is reflection coefficient beta square over 1 plus beta square and this one is plus 1 over 1 plus beta square and this is clearly equal to 1 because 1 plus beta square here then beta square and 1 here so 1 plus beta square is cancelling with 1 and we are having r plus t equal to 1 now i can further interpret the result that uh, this i have written in terms of beta now i want to convert it into the actual expression so now we can do calculate the reflection coefficient and the transmission coefficient in terms of the actual value of beta which is m alpha or h bar square so let's start with the reflection coefficient first the reflection coefficient is theta square over 1 plus beta square and this i can write if i divide by beta square then this will become 1 and this will become 1 and this will be 1 and this will be 1 over beta square so i can write then by putting the value of beta that i know that beta is equal to m alpha over h bar square k so this is the value of this and let's put this value here so we will have the reflection coefficient equal to 1 over 1 plus and then m alpha or h bar square square it and reciprocate it 
So we will have h bar square and it will become h bar 4 here with us and if before converting this into into beta let me convert this into energy as well and I know that beta is equal to this and k I have suppose that it is equal to 2 me square root over h bar so I will have to put the two values here so this will make the beta value the beta will be equal to m alpha over h bar square and let me put the value of k 2 m e over h bar so h bar will simplify with this and we will have m alpha over this is 2 m e h bar and 2 m e so this is 1 over beta square so beta square will be m square alpha square divided by h bar square and 2 m e so do some simplification here and the simplification is m will cancel with square of it so we will have the reflection coefficient equal to 1 over 1 plus 2 e it will go up and h bar square 2 h bar square and e divided by m alpha squared so this is the reflection coefficient in terms of energy while the transmission coefficient in terms of energy will be is the transmission coefficient is equal to 1 over 1 plus beta square so this is equal to 1 over 1 plus and put the value of beta there so m square alpha square over h bar square in 2 m e so m will simplify with this one and we will have the transmission coefficient equal to 1 divided by 1 plus m alpha square m alpha square divided by 2 h bar square and e and this is the transmission coefficient in terms of energy so we can now see from here that here in this relation and in this relation we see that r is proportional to 1 over e and here we see the t is proportional to e directly proportional to e because when we will take the lcm of this and then it will go up so here it is inversely reflection is inversely proportional to this and the transmission is directly proportional to this one now we are mostly related to the transmission so is the energy of the wave will be greater then we will have we will have more transmission and this is in accordance with our geometry more the energy more will be the transmission and more the energy less will be the reflection of this wave so both are in accordance with the geometry of our problem